Okay, just a moment, ah. Huh? I'm going to have to find where the right thing. Just one second, Emma. Um, where did I? Oh God. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm now switching away, is it? Okay. Oh, yo, yo. Hold on. Just one one second, huh? I can't find. Oh no, 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 oh, no, where they have put it now? Okay, but anyway, you you have the oh, I can download it now. Sorry, I can download it from where I send you from. Okay, so let me share screen. Okay, Emma, you have done for this one. I, I, I forgot how to do. Okay, you know what's a constant? Okay, I'm going to show you what constant is. Eh? Just one more second. I need, I need to open from here so that I can write. Download. Okay. So, okay. So, let us look at what a constant is. Okay. Let's say now I'm going to write, I write this down. Eh? Um, you tell me now. X plus... Five. Now constant, you, you, maybe you can write, write it down somewhere. Constant means, constant means, okay, it means, uh, it refers to the number without x. Without x. Eh? So let's say now in the above one, uh, the above uh, expression, the constant now here would be this one. This one. Constant would be? Five. So okay. So the <coughs> constant is five. Good. So let's say now, I give you another one. <coughs> let's say x square. Okay. Imagine this is square. Okay. X two plus two x minus three. What is the constant? Three. Minus three. Okay. So now down here, let's look at one a. What is the constant? You don't see a number that means it has to be something that doesn't exist in maths you call it no doesn't exist you owe no money you don't owe any money you don't have any money you have nothing you have zero so down here the constant will be zero what about b the constant will be four years so that's what constant is coefficient coefficient this means depending on what this is eh, they are looking at the value down here the value of you look at this expression of the x what number is beside here sorry you have x x means one x correct so what's the value of this x what's the number one one now, they're also asking you for coefficient of x down here. So, what's the value of x now down here for b? For b? Of x. Of x. What is it? 11. 11. No, 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 no. They didn't ask you to add the x squared to the x. No. Just the x only. Coefficient of the x. There's only one down here. There, this one. So, what's the value of the x? Minus Coefic 9. Minus 9. If I ask you what's the coefficient of the x cube down here, what's your answer? Coefficient of x cube. This minus means minus? One. Minus one. So it's minus one. Huh? You, must, must, you must add the sign, the minus sign there. So what's the coefficient of x square here? 
to okay, that's all it means it's just a fancy name a fancy name why do they have this fancy name well i don't know too. okay what about the next one can you do the next one what's your answer do you have your answer for the next one no. what's your answer Seven x plus two y over two to two. Seven x plus two y over two eh, z. Wait. Can I see a question? See the question. Yeah, there. You can see the question. Cannot. No. Wait. no. 7x plus 2y over z to 2. z to the power 2. So I'm just going to write it for you. Is it, did you write it like this? 7x plus 2y. Like that. The whole, the whole thing has to be covering the both of them. And then z to the power of 2. Like that. Is it? Okay, if you write it like that, your answer is correct. Congratulations. So, now, I was teaching another student yesterday. He's having some difficulty. So, if you have a difficulty, what you do, you, you break up this complex sentence into parts. So, down here, which you have done. So, down here, you have a square of Z. Square of Z is this, this is square of Z. Sum of, the sum of, um, 7x and 2y all right so this is what is the sum then divide so you have actually three parts here you are supposed to divide the sum by the square of two so you can find what's the square of two find out what's the sum of this and then you divide that's it let us see what about the next one do you know what's a coach do you know how to do okay what's your answer uh, square root of a over c plus M times N. Okay, can I see how you have written it, please? Can you just show me how you've written it? Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, let us look at this, okay? Can, can you see the screen, and Emma? Emma, are you there? It's loading. It's like lagging a bit. Mine, mine is lagging. Yeah. But I'm using my phone. It shouldn't be lagging. Is it your side lagging or? Okay, but now can you see? Yeah. This is yours? Quotient, you're correct? Quotient means what divided by what, correct? Now, but they say is cube root. Is this cube root? Square root. And then you can do this. What is this? N times N. What is it? Mm -hmm. N times N. M -N. Uh, so you write, you write with the three down here. All right. Plus M N. Can? Easy or not? Quite easy, yeah? Okay, let us see. Now, for question, okay, we move on to the next one now. What is the, in terms of J, what's the amount Sally received? 2J plus 5. 2J plus 5. Congratulations. Okay, you're very good at this. Huh? So, what's the original sum of money? <coughs> 22. 18. 80, hold on, hold on. 80. No. <clears throat> okay, how do you get 80? Let me see. 20, 50, 50 plus 5, 50 plus 5. Yeah, yeah, 80 is correct. Congratulations, congratulations. Sorry, sorry, my mistake. <coughs> my bad. <coughs> okay, what about the next one? I don't know. Okay, now what you do, <coughs> you just. Okay, now my question to you now. Five times seven. Is it equals to seven times five? Yeah. So this question 
is also equals to like that. I can write it like this, no, Emma. You know how to do this? No. <coughs> okay, you do it that way? Yeah, okay, you do it that way. Twenty one A minus twenty five B. Twenty one A minus twenty five B. Well done. Okay. What about this one? Minus Your answer is M plus six M. Minus sorry. M plus six M. Just one minute. This B the one below is not working. Hold on, hold on, just moment. Huh? Minus 13m plus 6m. Okay, well done. But can I... Which one do you do first? Okay, no need, no, no need to show me. Which one do you do first? Oh, yeah. The bracket inside the bracket. Ah, yes, well done. The innermost bracket. Well done. Then after that, you do... You Then you multiply... No, sorry, you multiply, right? And then the next bracket. And then the final one. Well done, well done. So it's easy for you, huh? Okay, what about number five? What's your answer? 15. 15. Okay, now down here, 15. Okay. Uh, let me take a shot of yours or so. Okay, again, you show me again. Show me again. I need to see. Okay, okay. You can see, Emma? Yeah. Now you find what is V squared. Well done. This part is correct. This part is correct. But they're asking you to find what's the value of V. You have found what is V squared. They want to know what's the value of V. So you found V squared, what's the value of V? That's more. Uh, okay, so now what we do is, we can write like that now. Uh, v squared equals to 15, right? So V equals to square root of 15. Mm. Now, square root of 15 is, okay, it's a decimal. But you have to give your answer in two forms. Now, what do I mean? Have you learned about positive and negative? The for square. Okay, let me. I'm gonna ask you. What is the? What is the? What is that? Uh, what is the square root of nine? What's your answer? Can you use the calculator, no problem. It's a whole number, miss. Square root of 9 is? 3. So, do you think the answer is just one answer or two answers or three answers? Just one only, eh? Right? Now, watch this. Eh? When we are asking you what is the square root of a number, we are asking you what number times itself gets 9. So 3 times 3 equals to 9. Agree, yeah? But negative 3, okay, I just put down negative 3 times negative 3, what is it equals to? Negative. Are you sure, are you sure negative? Negative times negative? 9. 9 or so. So can you see the square root of 9 can be positive 3, can be negative 3. So this means down here you have to write 3 or negative 3. You, you understand? You understand? Eh? Okay, now so down here your answer would be okay, two possibilities. One is negative square root of 15 or sorry, positive, or you can put negative. 
15 like that okay you need to have two answers so the answer you calculated your decimal that can be positive and negative but do you understand why you understand huh? okay what's the square root of 16 square root of 16 what's your answer huh? 16 square root of 16 square root of 16 no, but the answer correct answer is negative four and positive four because negative four times negative four gets sixteen also positive sixteen. So there's two answers. So now your your what does it mean? Some people ask, what does it mean? You will learn what does it mean inshallah next year where I will draw a graph to show you why there's two answers. Why sometimes there's one answer? Why there's two answers for certain things? But this is not the time yet, nah. Okay, so now we do the next one. Oh my goodness, this is the last question and let's see whether you are able to do it. Question number six, what is your answer? Mm. Two, bracket. two bracket. bracket. X plus three bracket plus ten bracket. X minus two bracket. That's your answer. Okay, let's see. I'm going to write down. You say, oh, down here, is this the one? This is the one, is it? Well, why don't you times it out? You times it out? Nah? Can you times it out? But and then where, where is your R? Hold on. Nah. You need to, they want you to have a formula. For example, what is a formula? Uh, this, is a for, uh, this is a formula. E, have you seen this formula? E equals to mc squared. This is Einstein's formula, right? Formula has an equal sign. So they want the formula to have R in it and X in it and there must be an equal sign. So you have found something down here. Alright. So this is correct. This one is also correct. So what is it equal to then? Can you form an equation? You try? You can try. Now. You try. Yeah? You must have an R there. Okay, what time is that? R equals plus Correct, correct. Do it, two, just say it. Huh? Two bracket. Two bracket. X plus three. X plus two. X plus two, like that, is it? Three. Three, okay, X plus three. Close bracket. That's plus. it? Plus. Ten bracket. Ten bracket. Okay. So this one, okay, means you, are, you have put an R in front here. Correct, well done. Well done. But you must take out them out from the bracket and then simplify it. Okay, so you got your answer. Continue, please. Remove this from the bracket now. Okay, so you remove it, times it out, then simplify it. Can okay? you times it out and find out what's the answer? That means two times x, two times six, ten times x, ten times minus two. Then after that, group the x together, group the number together.
Okay, thank you very much. Okay, thanks, Emma. We are now going to go through what you have. Let us see now. Is this the one? No, this is not the one. This one, right? Can see the screen? Can, huh? Now, you have to, you have to put the R down here, okay? So I'm going to write for you now down here. Okay. So you can see whatever I'm going to type, right? So now you write R equals to 2X plus 3 plus 10. Open bracket, X minus 2. Do you understand why you need to do this? You see, she has money. The total amount of money is R. That's what they have they have uh, stated here. See, the total amount of money she has is R. There's too many of these. Hold on, huh? Let me just move this. Uh, okay, hopefully you can see. Yeah. Okay, can see now. Huh? Down here now, she had R money at first. At first, she had R amount of money. Then her money is finished. Why? Because she spent this amount and she donated this amount, got nothing left. So in order to find the total amount of money she had at first, I take the amount of donations plus the amount of money she spent and add them together. And once I add them together, together I get R. Do you agree? You understand what I'm saying? Yes. Huh? So now that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to see now down here. So you you got to expand it now. now. R equals, okay, what have you written here? Let's see now. Did you expand it correctly? 2 times x, how come you have 4x? 2 times x is how much? Ah, so your final one would be how much? Uh, so 2x, right? But at the end of here, 2x plus 10x becomes 12x here, minus 14. So your last part on here, you get 12x minus 14 and this is your equation you must have the equal sign an equation must have equal sign and then they tell you use the r and use the x so when you write like this you see r is used x is used and you use the equal sign are you okay you understand okay now so the next one now let us see Find the amount of money she's had at the day if x is equals to 5. Okay, put in the value and find out. Now. What's the answer? I already got the answer for What's the answer? 46, is it? Yeah. Okay, well done. Well done. Okay. So, okay, you are all right. You have finished this in half an hour. It's good, huh? Or less than half an hour. Do you have any questions for me? No. Any questions? Any homework? Any Anything? I didn't do a homework yet. Your own homework, is it? No. You have a school, but so far you have no problems, right? With your schoolwork? I heard from your mom you are surprised that you can do certain max questions. Is that true? Why? Why are you surprised? You shouldn't be surprised. Okay, now I am going to, I'm going to give you some questions. Um, you try to do them, okay? You'll start with an easy one first, okay? So, um, can I just uh, I'll write down on the board? I don't know. I paused the recording. I don't know why. Uh,
2.2. Again, sorry? 2.2. 2.2, well done. Or oh, two and one fifth lah. Okay. Thank you. Okay, we do another one or two questions more. So this is like, I think you're finding algebra easy lah. To be fair. Can you solve it also? Find out the sum of 10v and 17 minus 17v is 4. Give your answer as a fraction. Uh. Eight over three. Eight over three. Can show it to me, please. Show it to me. Show. Sure. Show me your working. Okay. Uh, just one minute. Ah, huh? just let me copy down one. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let us look at your you you play soccer now. You know what soccer? Now? You dribble the ball right to go to goal post and then you go and score an own goal. This watch this is look at me. Look. I Two pillows cost eight dollars. One pillow cost. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Four, right? Eight divided by two. This thing stays here. V equals to minus six over minus sixteen. Suddenly you brought it over there, so it went up. Then this one mysteriously went down. You did like that. How come the six days on top can go down? You look at your working. You see down here now you are writing like the position you write e equals to two over eight. So my question how come eight is on top? How come it went down? Same thing for yours. Can you see now? You wrote what you write down here. You write v equals to negative three over negative 8 equals to 3 over 8 right so this 6 now you got you divide by 2 see you divide by 2 you get negative 8 over negative 3 
So which one is which? Is it negative 8 over negative 3 or negative 3 over negative 8? Look at those that you understand. Let's say you buy two popcorn, $8. One popcorn must be $4. The 8 is still on top. Down here, there's six is up on top, but you put the six below. So you do your corrections. Lah. You know what I'm talking about? You do not know what I'm talking about. Okay. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. No. Must tell me, must tell me, do me. Okay. I'm going to share with you your working now. That's why I need you to see your working now. Okay, let's see. Yeah. This one now. Okay, down here. So you got minus 16V equals to minus 6. 6 is supposed to be on top because it's on top. This is 6 over 1. So now if, if you draw a line, we draw a line like this. Huh? I draw a line up here. You can see what I'm talking about. Minus 16V over 1 equals to minus 6 over 1. This is what it means. Okay. What it means that I'm going to write it on here. You look at your. Okay, can you see? It's minus 6 v, 16 V over 1. Minus 6 over 1. This one now, minus 16. You can bring down. So it's minus 6 over minus 16. Minus minus becomes plus. 3 divided uh, by 2. Divided by 2. Okay, 3 over 8. Okay. Okay, now, uh, Emma. If you find it blur, you watch the video again. But I think I may have forgotten to record half of it. We do one last one. Can? Can I? Eh? You okay, now, Emma? Today, I, you don't seem okay. What happened? Are you happy for your birthday? You got a lot of presents. Mm -hmm. Oh, you expected a present for me. I didn't get you. I'm so sorry. Oh. What? I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Eh? Okay, here we go. Let us see now. When 6a is subtracted, this is quite easy. Eh? From 11. The result is negative 22. So you must find what is A. Minus 11 over 2. Minus 11 over 2. Can I see again? Show me, show me. Wait, uh. Now, wait, uh. Okay, all right. Emma, watch her. Both has minus. How can you get rid of it? Times by negative 1, times by negative 1, becomes 6a equals to 33. So it becomes positive. Then a equals to 33 over 6, and then you get the answer 5.5. But both have minus, you can cancel it off. 
one side got minus, you got to transfer the minus to the other side. Okay? Are you alright? Let me stop here. Nah. Are you are you confused? Emma? Okay, nah, Emma. What happened, Emma? You seem very disturbed by something. Are you disturbed by anything? A anything bothering you? Nah? Anything you need my help with? No. Be happy, lah, Emma. I think you're happy. I do not know whether you're happy or not. For two years I've been teaching you, I still do not know whether it's Emma happy or not. I'm not sure. But I hope you are. Peace. If you need help or whatever, just just ask, okay? All right, then, ma. Anything else? If not, we, we end off here. Okay, see you next week then. Bye-bye.